What is going on everybody? It's Hayes Carlson coming back at you over at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. And today we are going to be talking about a big bad bunkhouse. We're talking about the Aspen Trail 3230 BHS. Guys, this thing is humongous. We got the outdoor kitchen. We've got the two opposing slides in the back bunk room, which is awesome. Tons and tons of room in there. Really excited to show this thing to you guys. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. We got a bunch of cool stuff that we do over on this channel all the time. Drop me a comment down below. Always love, love, love to get some feedback from all of my viewers out there. So drop me a comment, hit that button. Let's get into it. Guys, like I said, this is the 3230 BHS made by Dutchman. This is an Aspen Trail. And on this Aspen Trail, we have got a big, bad, massive awning on this bad boy this awning is made by lippert we have a nice led strip that's right up there in the middle if you can see that white strip there two outside marine grade speakers our hot water heater there our fresh water connection right here we got a couple of gfci outlets which is great we also have our tank flush that is right over here this is a two axle trailer so we've got two axles on this bad boy solid steps that are by Lippert, the handy dandy Linda hand handy dandy handle guys this thing does have Lippert's electronic power stabilizer jacks guys so just with the click of a button no more having to crank these things up you've got the power stabilizer jacks so save your arm and just push the button man easy stuff big time pass through storage bunch a bunch of storage over here and we do have the magnet doors which if you watch my channel you know you know i love me some magnet doors going over here to the front beautiful aspen trail logo there we have got the Badison distribution electronic tongue jack guys we got a nice light here that we can turn on and off making it super easy to hook on and on to this thing whenever it is nighttime. And then we've got your up and down nice clicky buttons. Our emergency brake cut off here. We've got two 20 pound propane tanks, one, two, and you know I'm gonna fill those things up for you before you go. We have got our battery that is right there in that battery tray. And we are prepped for solar. That is what this guy right here is, guys. So we are prepped for solar. Let's talk about some weights. Weights on this bad boy. Unloaded vehicle weight. 8252 GVWR 9680 let that sink in guys big time pass through here's our cord again with the magnets love that so much all right y'all now we're gonna have this big slide for our living area and then we have this big old slide now guys this is a 50 amp service unit we have our 50 amp connection right there as well as our sewer right here so we have our black tank there and we also have our gray tank that is right there too so we have two separate sewer connections very interesting one big slide for the bunk room and then guys we do have a coax cable here so that's where you will initially put in your coax to get some satellite going pre-wired for a backup camera nice aspen trail logo there too nice big window our city water connection as well as an outside shower hollow bumper so we can put that sewer hose in there nice spare tire with a cover and guys like i said two opposing slides in this bad boy the bunk room in this thing is humongous and since we got the bunk room we've got the outside kitchen guys so we've got the two burner gas stove here and since we have that gas stove we do have the propane quick connect which is right underneath if you see that little blue thing hanging down over there that is our propane quick connect awesome stuff and then we do have the little bitty mini fridge as like I said, this is the two burner gas grill. And we can put this guy back. We do have a couple of outlets up there. We also have another place to where we can put our different cooking utensils and things like that. And then we're back at the front. You guys ready to check this thing out? 
drop me a comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite parts about this thing are. Let's go inside. What do you guys think about this? Let's start over here by the door. So by the door, we're gonna have our control panel. And on this control panel, we can see our battery level, fresh water, black tank, gray one and gray two. We can also extend and retract our awning. We have our gas water heater, our water pump, our exterior lights and interior lights there too. Slide one, slide two, and slide three because we do have three slides in this thing. Nice fire extinguisher here in the kitchen. We have got two GFCI outlets, bunch of bunch of counter space, solid surface, and guys, this is a farm style stainless steel sink, nice and deep. You have the gooseneck faucet to go right along with that, and then we will have the graystone three burner gas oven and range. Three burners here on the top. You have your glass backsplash that doubles as more counter space whenever we are not cooking. And guys, this thing is a legitimate oven. Awesome stuff there. Underneath the sink, you're gonna have some good storage. And then over here on the side, we'll have our nice roller drawers. And guys, these things are so smooth. Steel ball bearing full extension drawer so you can reach all the way back into that corner great stuff up above we're gonna have some cabinet space with this nice frosted glass love that graystone microwave here and then we have the graystone exhaust fan and light to go right above the oven now guys we do have the norcold humongous big electric refrigerator and freezer you can put a bunch of stuff in this bad boy all right moving on here's going to be our thermostat we've got your uh, gas and carbon monoxide detectors there let's check out this bathroom in this bathroom you'll notice me in the mirror and back behind that you've got a nice medicine cabinet nice attic fan so you can get rid of any unwanted bathroom odors as well as any hot air whatever you initially get inside of this thing you got your drunk octopus handle so you can hang up your uh, towels or your washcloths different things like that nice clicky light three prong outlet our nice sink underneath the sink a little bit of storage and you're also going to have a little bit of storage there too foot flush commode and then a good size shower so this tub is a little deep but it does go up all the way and you have a nice skylight up above and some nice clicky lights. A shower curtain moving side to side. Beautiful stuff, guys. Now, if you don't know, the Aspen Trail has the blade system AC. So with this, you can control how much or how little airflow you want. If you see that lip that's back there, you can turn that guy to control how much, how much or how little air you want to come through this specific vent really really cool stuff guys but we're not here for the blade system we're here for the bunk room let's check this out man these opposing slides truly open this bunk room up guys i mean we have so much space in here this is crazy this is one of the biggest Bunk rooms that I've seen in a travel trailer. I really like this guy. I was pretty excited to show it to you guys. But we're going to have a place to mount a TV right here. We've got our GFCI outlets there too. Nice clicky lights. One slide here, right? You can see the wood frame there. Now you'll have your bunk on the top, 300 pound capacity here. And then we have our bunk on the bottom with that same 300 pound capacity. But cool thing about this bottom bunk is we can lift it up just like so to get it out of the way, exposing your storage underneath. And we do have the locks right over here so we can lock this guy into place. Really cool. Now going over here on the back wall, we're gonna have some big, big cabinetry to keep all of your clothes 
and things like that. Nice emergency exit window here with a nice countertop and more storage underneath. And guys, I, I apologize, I misspoke. Our TV does not go over here. It goes right here. So our TV mounts right back here. You have your satellite connection and your outlets there. And then the mirror image of our storage from the other side. Awesome stuff. Over here, you've got another 300 pound twin bunk. Now the other cool part about this guy is it does move up so we can lock it into place. Beautiful, nice clicky light there on the side. Now here on the bottom, we do have the jackknife couch. So with this jackknife couch, it's kind of hard doing this one handed. With this jackknife couch, we can lift this guy up and then bang, fold it out into another sleeping area. Now cool part about the jackknife couch is that you've got plenty of storage underneath. So. Plenty of space to put all of your things. You've got the sliding pocket door with two latches to secure this guy down into place. Going back into the main area of the trailer, you have another good storage area here. Clicky lights all the way around. Here's our second big slide for our six person dinette and our other jackknife couch. Now guys, if you don't know, one really cool thing about Aspen Trail six person dinette is they are convertible. What do you mean you can't take the top off of this thing? No, you can't take the top, but you can take the seat off. So this middle section right here, we can pop that guy out and turn this into a four person dinette. So if you guys are a bigger family or have trouble using a six person dinette because it just won't accommodate you, we can turn this table sideways take out that middle piece and have a ton of room here on the side. So this is gonna be very accommodating for a bigger family as well. Now, underneath, you're gonna have plenty of storage on both sides. And you guys can kind of get a glimpse of what I'm talking about here. So underneath the table, we have two different configurations of how this will hook onto these steel poles. And then we have three of those steel poles. You can see right over here, that is where uh, that middle piece will come off. So we can configure this guy to turn into a big four-person dinette. Or whenever it's in six-person mode like this and it is converted into a sleeper, this is big enough to where my big six, five-foot butt can lay all the way down, which is really, really nice, i got to say. Now we'll have the hybrid jackknife couch here cool part about this is that even though it is a jackknife couch it won't recline but you have got your footrests which is really neat so got the footrest you also have this nice handle where we whenever we pull this then it will convert into a sleeping area really cool stuff right there guys big time windows with the black amount shades gotta love that and here is our main entertainment center now we're gonna have speakers mounted up top. We're also gonna have speakers in the TV as well as those speakers outside so we can listen to all of your music or play through the TV in a lot of different ways, guys. Here's our coax inlet there and then uh, two three-prong outlets. Beautiful stuff. TV backer right there, of course. Underneath that, you're gonna have your drive infotainment system, guys. Your different bands. We got Bluetooth, you got USB, aux, you, uh, your headphone jack, HDMI, all of that good stuff. AM, FM, radio, you name it. And then right here, we're gonna have our nice big electric furnace, guys. Now this thing will change a few different colors. You can also change the intensity of those colors as well as the heat. So. This thing does a great job at heating up the entire coach. Really, really effective. Two three-prong outlets leading into the bedroom. And then in the bedroom, got a nice queen-size mattress. Now guys, since this is a 50 amp service unit, we are pre-wired for a second AC right here in the bedroom. Again, with that blade AC system that is so, so cool. And then we're gonna have these pocket closets on both sides so you can hang up some clothes as well as some overhead storage and some underneath storage. 
plenty of space in there, guys. Plenty, plenty of space. Now over here on this side, we're gonna have the same thing, me in the mirror, and then your nice pocket closet. And then your three prong outlets on this side, as well as the other side there too. And then you're gonna have a couple of clicky lights, good for reading or uh, some late night study in here on the bed. But guys, really cool stuff. This bunk room is just phenomenal. Really like the opposing slides here. We do have a mount for the TV. You've got plenty of storage and all of the cabinetry over here. Really nice, affordable coach. So this Aspen Trail line is one of the more cost effective coaches that we have to offer and we have a ton of them i just talked to the rep earlier today we have over 200 of these things on order not just of this floor plan but across the board on a lot of their different stuff so we're going to have some bigger toy haulers we'll have some smaller bumper pulls we're going to have anything and everything in between so if you like this be sure to stay tuned and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming content that i've got because believe you me it's coming but guys, if you could see yourself and your family in this camper, let me know. I'm going to have my phone number, my email address, my Facebook page, my inventory website, as well as a link to Dutchman's website so you can learn more about this Aspen Trail and all of the other cool floor plans that they have to offer. But guys, just like that, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to catch you on the next one. See you later.